噔噔噔噔噔，叮叮叮叮叮叮叮叮 ，Lady Death Vader。Hi everybody! How are you? Greetings and salutations. Let me turn the volume down on this. There we go. Make sure everything else is turned off, so no rude interruptions. Hi everybody! It is Wednesday, Cinco de Mayo. How are you, everybody? Hope you all having a great week. Let me know when you are in the room. Say your greetings and salutations. All right, how long of a delay do I have on this? There we go. Go to the Sworn Nation. Let me know if you guys can all hear me and see me. All right. Says I'm live. Looks like I'm live. But am I live? I don't know. We'll just have to keep going until I find out. Anyways. These are the 11 by 17ths we launched yesterday for May the 4th. Lady Vader. Is that me? Was that it? Am I live? No? Well, this really is uh, wonky. Hey! Hi, Ace. Thank you for saying something. I thought I was insane. On my end, on my other phone, it still hasn't even shown that... Uh, the stream is being hit, so uh, I'm glad you're able to see it, because I sure can't. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. So for those who don't know, yesterday we launched May the 4th exclusives. It's something we've been doing uh, for a few years now. And right now, we still have prints available. If you are into the beautiful... Naughty Lady Vader hollow foil. We are down to uh, about 10 copies. So um, this will probably sell out, I have a feeling, fairly soon, maybe by today. We still have copies of the non hollow foil version of Naughty Lady Vader. I'm learning English. And there is the standard Lady Vader. But we also have Hell Witch, Hellborn, Darth Hell editions, both in risque and non-risque. I see my pasties are almost falling off. That's not good. That's not good. Ace, can you still hear me? You can give a shout out and let me know. Boom, ba boom. So these are what we have. Stock is going fast. So if you've been uh, delaying, I don't know if you should delay on... Yeah, the foil is really nice. I, I really like, with the, and I've said it before, but I really like... The backgrounds we're doing on these things, so I, especially the hollow foil has, it's just faintly in there, and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of haunting, like a, a supernatural kind of look to it. I don't know, I really love it. Thank you, Ace, I appreciate it. It's noon here in lovely Mesa, Arizona. Brian, Nick, and Jimmy are off site doing some filming for the June 2nd launch of. The Lady Death Majestic Statues Kickstarter. These things are really beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing um, the production they're making on all these. Hi, Eric. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing, man? So right now, Brian and Jimmy are doing some filming and um, some really great videos for the upcoming Kickstarter on June 2nd for these. Pardon me. Ooh, I got the hiccups and the burps all at the same time. All right. Eric, how is your day going? I hope you are doing well. I'm going to take off my sombrero because it's super hot with that on in here. Let me bring these down. Again, thank you guys for joining me today. I don't know why my phone is not updating uh, when everyone's in the room here. But it's, it's just very weird that on my end I can't see anything. So I, I'm hoping everyone can see me. Obviously, you guys are there. Um, yeah, for some reason, it's not showing up on my phone, so I'll have to do the back and forth like I did back in the day, so I can see your guys' comment. Hi, Miguel! It's who they can <laughs> Jay, how are you? Greetings and salutations, everyone. So happy to be with here with you today, because you guys rock. Well, this is weird. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do things the old-fashioned way, because we keep rolling. 
So we got some really great news. Oh, here I am. Wow. It says I was live four minutes ago, but it just now showed up. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, wow. Look at all you beautiful people. 63 degrees. Get out of here, man. Oh, it's awful. It's awful because I can't have that temperature unless it's at night and I'm hopefully asleep. All right, guys. We have a bunch of stuff. If you haven't signed up for our VIP newsletter, I highly recommend you do. It keeps you up to date on everything going on at Coffin Comics. Um, La Muerta num uh, Onslaught number one will launch in about eight days. Um, just let you know that June 2nd, we will be doing a Kickstarter for the Lady Death Majestic Statue Series. Um, oh, here we go. There is a Lady Death Cataclysmic number one Kickstarter update. We have been compiling and making all of those amazing, awesome bonus packets that we're known for. And a lot of the stuff for the fan club has started to compile. Really great. I know my stuff is in black and white, but that's so you guys can go on the website and check it out in color. All right. Coffin Comics Sworn Club goodies have arrived. If you back the Kickstarter, not only do you get an all-killer club benefits, but you also get some of these goodies. Here's some of the cards, hollow foil cards, and other items we have in-house right now that are being compi compiled. Yes, justice for Jeff. Uh, what? Take the show on the road. Dude, that'd be nice. That would be nice. I miss road tripping. Here's some of the other items, the little VIP club member cards. Really cool stuff. Not only that, on Friday, I had the pleasure of being the cameraman for Brian's uh, segment, Beer with Brian. Uh, he hadn't done it in a while, and it was really fun to sit in, and it was really great to see you guys' uh, questions. Some of you got really excited with some of the answers he gave through. I was shocked by some of those. I think it's really neat um, that as a publisher and a creator, he's really involved in keeping you guys informed of what's going on, what he's got coming down, and just you know stuff that he digs on his personal uh, life, what he's into collecting, music, what have you. I don't know of any other publisher that really does that, um, especially uh, someone like Brian. Brian is just one of the most easygoing guys to approach. He's very approachable. He's always got time for the fans, and I really hope to see another Beer with Brian coming up soon, and hopefully I'll be lucky enough to hold the camera again and join you guys and um, relay your questions you had for Brian. That was a lot of fun for me, and hopefully I get an opportunity to do it again. All right, also, coming up, Swarmfest 2022. Get your tickets February 25th through 27th of this coming year. There's going to be exclusives. Parties, you know it. Artists, of course. Signings, yes. Panels, yes. Beer, oh hell yes. Food, yum yum in my tum. Coffee, that is essential after you've had a lot of beer and alcohol. And eight, uh, Headquarters Volume 2 Tours. There will be the Trading Post, which was so popular at Fiend Fest. Um, really great idea. Basically, you bring in your stuff that you want to trade to try to trade with other folks to uh, get your collection completed. It was really fun to watch. Um, I wish I had more time just to kind of chill and, and watch uh, the whole bartering going on. There's also going to be CGC and Fiendship, camaraderie, community, and more. Because that's what we're about. I cannot wait for Swarm Fest to happen. Brian wants to see if we can do 666 tickets. I want to see if we can do that and go beyond it. Because I hope to see every one of you guys and gals there. And I can't wait for all the hugs. I can't wait for the high fives. I can't wait for the camaraderie and all of us to join together personally and just catching up and enjoying each other's company. So I'm looking forward to Swarm Fest, and I hope you are too. If you haven't gotten your tickets, they are still available. Also, whew, here we go. Um, order a copy of the Lady Death game. There is a game, Lady Death Last Stand. It was, a, it was done by Cold War Games. Um, just go to www.coldwar.usa to go ahead and pick up your copy of the game today. All right, coming up. Let's see, today's May the 5th. Catacombs of Me. 
We've got the Kickstarter launches in uh, the second quarter of 2021. Pre-orders be stuck for the Hellwitch 6-inch figures. Um, There's going to be a Hellwitch statue coming up. we got a La Muerta action figure coming up. In August, Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation Kickstarter launches. And then also in October 2021, Hellwitch versus Lady Death Wargasm. And remember, guys, with our Kickstarters, you get a chance to vote the outcome of Lady Death versus Hellwitch Wargasm. <sighs> Gotta smoke a cigarette after that. So that's some stuff we got coming on down the line. Lots of fun things planned for you today, but let's get started and let's show you some of the fun stuff I got uploaded on the catacombs for you. See, who do we got here? Boom, boom, boom. Help if I held the phone. Yeah, I can't wait either. Dude, justice for Jeff coffee mugs would be amazing. Yeah, Miguel, you really enjoyed the trading post because I saw a lot of people just coming out with some really great stuff. Everyone was really excited um, for that trading post. Um, yes, and I, I'd love to see more justice for Jeff stuff. Yes. I agree with you, Miguel. Justice for Jeff. All right, let's start things off today with the catacombs. This is Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, Scarlet Edition, and it is a BP. Frank Cho is the cover artist. Really gorgeous piece. I got one right here, and it's a BP. And if you notice, it has the new... BP COAs, because I ran out of the old, so we created some new ones. So get ready for seeing some new COAs coming down the pike. Uh, once I'm out, of course, I want to switch the old to the new. All you La Muerta fans, I present to you La Muerta, The Descent, Luxury Edition. This is a metal cover. This is the first image I ever saw of La Muerta, right here. And I remember... Telling Brian, what the hell is this all about? This is amazing. And then he told me the premise, and I was hooked on this character ever since. It was the first Kickstarter I ever backed, and um, I love the hell out of La Muerta, and I know she's got a lot of fans out there, too. Jay Taylor, I know you're one. Next up, I have for you Lady Death Moments, Daughter of Satanus, Hollow Foil Edition. These are the last three copies I am putting on the catacombs today. That is it. So, Dignity for Dakota. How about Hope for Hooligan? Hope for Hooligan. Uh oh. Uh oh. There are no mugs. No <laughs> justice for Jeff mugs for Sworn Fest. I'm just saying. You're going to have to make those, Miguel. <gasps> Do you have any updates for anyone for the warehouse? What kind of cool, exciting stuff are you guys doing for everybody? No justice for Jeff. That's my excitement. Wow. <laughs> wow, Jeff is going to be so depressed when he gets in today. <laughs> we got in the beautiful um, book so for, for May the 4th, so we're, we're QCing. They're doing really well. Uh, the Holofoil, again, guys, down to 10 copies. This so, one's my favorite. That one is pretty sharp. I really thought they did an amazing job changing up the homages a bit. Yeah. I was I was ready for another, like, a Lady Slave presentation. We do have a medal of it. Mm -hmm. But it was really cool to see other Star Wars characters mixed in. Um, so, really cool. These are really gorgeous pieces, guys. If you haven't picked it up, it's still going live. We still got additions. Yes. Everything's still in stock, but there is stuff going to be selling out probably by today or tomorrow. So make sure you're there. Scoop them up while you got a chance. Ooh, hey, look, we have a puppy in the place. Puppy in the house. What, do, what, what goodies do we have today? I got so many goodies. Like right now, these are the, going back to the classics here. Ooh. Medieval Lady Death, Belladonna. This is the Platinum Foil Edition. These are my last copies I have for you. Once these are gone, that's it. It is beautiful. And remember, all... Platinum foil editions come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight. You can go blind. But with some of this imagery, <laughs> it's great images to have burned into your brains forever. Oh, you Jay says he up. wishes there was a bounty hunter, La Muerta. I agree. I saw that post on Facebook, and I think that would be a great homage. So I 100% agree with you, Jay. I think there should be one. Hopefully uh, next year we can get that going. 
Next up, Lady Death, Lost Souls, Platinum Foil. This is the last copies. Again, last copies. I can too lick them, Ace. Don't you tell me no. He said I can't lick them. Wow. Wow. What? Which one am I licking? I don't... Um, okay, lick that one. Oh, God. I was like, really? We're going to have this on camera where she's going to lick one of the books? I mean, it's in a bag and board, but... I'll take it out. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot bring him anywhere. No, you I'm can't. Very sorry. You can't. Very sorry. <laughs> All right, next up. All right, Oops, have fun, you... everybody. Thank Love you, Brandy. Everybody, that no was... That was Brandy Sparkles, and yes, there will be justice for Jeff, always here on my shows, because I love Jeff, and he's a damn good guy, so justice for Jeff. And dignity for bonus ride, or Dakota, I think even one matches. Next up, classic from the Chaos Era, this is Detonator Numero Uno. I have about two copies left. Once these are gone, again, these are gone, these are, I only had like Six to begin with, uh, when I first went through the boxes of old chaos stuff, I'm down to two. So once they're gone, that's it, they're done. But I do have the premium edition as well, detonator number one, this is the premium edition, cover by the amazing Stephen Hughes. So more chaos classics for all of you Brian Polito collectors out there, whether it be the Chaos or Coffin. We know you love us and we appreciate it. All right, middle or middle medieval death lady, <laughs> medieval lady death fans. I have for you today the last copies of issue seven platinum foil. These are my last copies. Eric, it is really good. Thank you for joining. It wouldn't be a show without you guys. Um, I really look forward to it um, <laughs> because you guys are the best. All right. Another last copy of Unholy. This is the gold foil edition. This is my last copy. This is all she wrote. I sold the prism ones. Those sold out fairly quickly when I put them both on eBay and one of my, when, back when I was on the CCSN or CBSN, I should say, um, I put those on there and they went really quick. Um, so this is my last gold foil one. Eric, is your week treating you well? That's what's important. Cue cards. I don't need no stinking cue cards. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't read them anyways. Uh, anyways, here we go. Lady Death. Extinction Express. This is the Miss Death Emerald Hollow Foil. It is a vault copy. It is number six. Six out of 66. Boom. There's your 666 numbers for you guys. Booyah. I didn't even mean for that to happen. It just happened. Oh, and there's Brandy jumping in, taking away everyone's fun for the justice for Jeff. Heartbreaking. All right, next up. For the Scratch and Dent folks, I have just uploaded Malevolent Decimation Number 1 Selfie Editions. I believe these are about $2, two fifty. dollars uh, They will be in the Scratch and Dent section, or just click on the link to the catacombs, and it'll take you right there to the selection we have today. Actually, why am I putting that back in my phone right here? Oh my gosh. It's hot in here. All righty. Here we go. All right, Ortiz fans. This is another Scratch and Dent. This is Lady Death Gallery, Richard Ortiz Commission. Only 33 of these were made. This is a Scratch and Dent copy. I had to take the sombrero off. It got super hot. I like, had it on at the beginning of the show, and whoo, man, I just started sweating, sweating. And I got the AC cranked up a bit in here, too. So if I have it cranked up any higher, um, you'd probably hear the whole thing. But for you, Bob... Because of you, sir, and you asked for it, the sombrero's back on. All for you, Bob. This is all for you. And speaking of which, tequila after work. I gotta go to the grocery store and pick up stuff for the house <laughs> first. 
All right, next up, another scratch and dent. This is La Muerta Vengeance. This is the mega incentive cover. I only have one copy today. What a great companion piece that would be with the uh, Descent Luxury Edition. Beautiful. Beautiful. Another beautiful one. Genevieve Bloom House. This is Hellwitch. Hellboard number one, Mega Incentive Edition. I really love um, just the red and black. They really complement each other. And it just really makes the artwork pop on a whole other level. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Next up, old school, direct market, Lady Death, Revelations. Here is another mega uh, incentive edition. Sabine Rich is the artist. Beautiful. Beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning. Ole! Woo! <laughs> Bob, how are you feeling today, by the way? I hope you're doing very well. Hope life is treating you well. And I hope the weather is beautiful where you're at. All right, next up, this one's signed and it is my last one. This is a scratch and dent. This is La Muerta Retribution Homage Edition. That's homaging the uh, first appearance of Punisher in Spider-Man. Such a cool cover. Marat really did a good job on that. He does a good job on pretty much everything that man does. All right. Got some mock-up action for you beautiful people. Let's start it off with... And I forgot to put my little uh, stickers on it because I was uh, rushing to get a bunch of other stuff done. This is Lady Death, Damnation Games, Spring Equinox. It is a mock-up edition. I will tip in the COA for you right after the show and throw on a sticker. Sticker! Sun, 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 yeah, we got that here too. Uh, 90s, yeah, it's 90s here too. I wish it was uh, a tad cooler. I just want some rain, man, some real, the day of real rain. Next up, another mock-up. This is Damnation Game, Naughty Spring Equinox Edition. Boom, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. God, I love these. Absolutely beautiful pieces. All right, another one, Richard Ortiz, Unholy Ruin. This is the naughty, luscious edition, and it, too, is a mock-up. Mock-up, I got a mock-up for you. Anything over 40? No, dude, 40? Sometimes, but I'll take that 40 right now. So, okay, yeah, 40 sounds good, Jay. <laughs> this is Lady Death, Extinction Express, Nightmare Nurse Edition. This is an homage to the uh, Night Nurse who uh, takes care of superheroes in the Marvel Universe. Uh, she did appear on the Netflix Daredevil series, played by uh, Rosario Dawson, which I love her. All right, next up, another mock-up, Oblivion Kiss, Death from Above 2, Hollow Foil Edition. This is an amazing amazing piece so all you folks who uh, had the first uh, death from above now there's a nice companion and i hope we keep continuing uh with um doing this type of uh pinup art it's a beautiful cover and i i am a big fan of pinup art like huge fan um i i had and i wish i still did a varga pinup pop-up book um Wow, is it amazing. Damn, I wish I still had it because that thing is not easy to get anymore. Oh, well, you live and you learn, and this guy doesn't learn. Nope. All right, next up, I have a Treacherous Infamy Metallic Jewel Edition. It is a scratch and dent. Um, it looks like some of the jewels came off, and on the repairing, the glue just went smearing all over the gauntlets and on our belly. So I cleaned it up the best I could, but... I don't think it's up to snuff or uh, what you guys would expect for a metallic jewel. So I categorized it as a scratch and dent and lowered the price. Vargas ruled. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, yeah, though. And Clerks 2. I mean, I, I fell in love with her with some of her earlier films, but Clerks 2. I was smitten 
by her role. I actually loved her character. All right, all you classic Chaos Comics Evil Ernie fans, I have today old prints. So about the size of a comic. This is what I remember getting these um, in my store. I worked at Atomic Comics when this was coming out. Greg Capullo is the artist. This is an Evil Ernie Black Lego Graphics. Bam. Mini print. Or mini advert. Um, I did have these, uh, like I say, in my store, in my window displays to let people know we were carrying Evil Ernie and Chaos. Um, had a great relationship with everyone over at Chaos. It was just a, you know, I was just a, a clerk. I was just selling books, you know. But Brian and Fran and everyone, when I first met them, and Steven, they were just some of the most approachable people I'd ever met in comics. Um, I actually fell in love with everyone at Chaos. Um, Jason Jensen, all of us, we were young and crazy. Um, lots of cool parties. Uh, but yeah, they were, they were wonderful people. Wonderful people, and that's why I am so happy I'm here today working with these people and presenting all this fun stuff to you guys. And I get to meet all you great people coming up in Swarmfest. All right, my last thing today is a Lady Death Chromium Collector's Card Series 2 promo card. I put up about, I think, uh, about 20 of these. So they are available now on the store. Just click on the link of the catacombs, and it'll take you right there. There was a meme. Um, I saw that, Miguel. Thank you. That was pretty cool. Well, I uh, you'll get extra time because Jimmy and I on Fridays are going to be doing a, a little show we call The Spotlight, where we show you guys some of the uh, promo items we have available and kind of present to you guys some older stock that are on the store or new items that have just been uploaded uh, by the amazing bonus bride, Dakota Reese. She's really been working hard, keeping up the, so uh, the shop, uh, the website. She's doing a great job. So everyone, a round of applause to Dakota. She has really been just doing an amazing job. Uh, she's the one that's uploading all this stuff on the catacombs with you guys on Mondays and Wednesdays. And she's really just done some amazing work. So a uh, round of applause to Dakota. Uh, I'd definitely like to give her a shout out. And also thank you, uh, Napal and Nick, for training her in such an amazing way that she's really knocking it out of the park um, each and every day here at Coffin HQ. So we salute you, Dakota. All right. Dignity for Dakota. <laughs> yeah, everybody, if you could, please, uh, a round of applause for her. Uh, she does a great job. Oh, thank you. I freaking love Kurt Russell, Bob. I love Kurt Russell, and he's amazing in that movie. And that is a damn good 80s horror film. If you all haven't seen John Carpenter's The Thing, you need to watch that pronto. That should be totally um, something you have viewed, especially if you're here at Coffin Comics. It's an amazing film. It's a very good, terrifying, very... Um, First time I saw it, I believe I was about 10, so it was like 82, 83, and I remember my heart racing um, just trying to figure out, okay, who is the thing, who isn't the thing? Really, really great movie, so I wear that comment with pride. Thank you, Bob. I, I, I Thank you. That, that just made my day. I appreciate it. All right, guys, this is going to be it for me today. I will see you guys Friday when Jimmy and I will be doing our little spotlight for you. So you guys are going to get me three days a week. Uh, and Jimmy and I are uh, definitely looking forward to uh, seeing you guys every Friday. Um, you'll see it posted on YouTube and on the Swar Nation and all the other places where you know we are streaming things socially. Also, please, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Coffin TV, and click that little notification bell so you can let it'll let you know <laughs> whenever we're going live or anytime we're uploading a new video for you guys to check out. So, on behalf of me and the entire Coffin crew, happy Cinco de Mayo. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day and an even better weekend. I will catch you guys on Friday. It's been great talking to you as always. Have a great day. I'm Sworn, and I'm out! Bye, everybody. Make this day amazing.